If you've had a recent Powerwall grid charging issue, this video is going to cover why that happened and how you're going to fix it. So as you can see, my Powerwall is not fully charged. It is midday, 12 p.m., have really good production from my 8 uh, kilowatt system, and only 1.9 kilowatts is being pushed to this Powerwall, even though it supports almost 6 kilowatts being pushed into the Powerwall, and this should have been charged last night. And Tesla, what happened was there's a recent firmware change done in April uh, that rolled out in various times to all customers. And this completely messed up with the algorithm. And if you had certain buy and sell prices, it's trying to maximize a variety of things. Honestly, Tesla support didn't even know why this firmware update was made when I contacted them. But the point is, if your peak time ends and you're using time-based control, the previous behavior was, and you had grid charging enabled, your power wall would charge up as fast as it could to 100%, and the power wall would be ready for any unexpected grid outages and peak time the next day. Since this firmware update, which I only just noticed in the last couple of weeks, and a ton of people in our solar forums are also commenting the same, is what is going on? Why did the behavior change? regardless of the buy and sell prices that we now are trying to adjust to fix it. Why is Tesla Solar waiting or basically delaying the charge of the power wall, not using the grid and just trickle charging it with excess solar, um, powering the home and just really taking a big risk of only getting the power wall to 100%, sometimes not in time for peak time or just in time for peak. And this firmware update was the culprit. And so to fix this is to basically go into settings and this is a two level fix. One is a, a very annoying way to basically babysit this thing every day until the permanent fix is in place, which is going into your settings, going to time-based control and bringing that to 100% backup. This setting, it takes a little bit of time to kick in, probably 30 seconds or so, will change the behavior of the power wall to force charging from the grid because you're now saying, I wanna reserve all my power wall for backup and it'll increase the amount of power to your power wall. So you're going to want to do what I just did, go into settings, bring it to 100% as soon as off peak or super off peak kicks in and you have to do that manually. And then this will update in about 30 seconds to a minute to fully charging. As soon as the power wall is at 100% or basically before peak time, you're wanna going to go back into those settings and then lower this back down to what you had it before. I had it at zero. Some people have at 10%, 20%, but you basically want to use the power wall to help cover you through peak time as is the value prop of the power wall or one of the value props from Tesla. The permanent fix here is basically, so as you can see, this is updated. So now 5.7 kilowatts are being pushed into the power wall. This is the behavior that should have been happening last night at eight o'clock when the peak time was over here in uh, Arizona with SRP. But instead, because of the firmware update, it wasn't charged and doesn't start charging to the next day. The biggest risk here is if you have an outage, there's a storm, you have an outage at two in the morning, your power wall is not charged when it should have been. It should have been at 100%. That's the point is there's a safety point of this and there's no user facing setting to revert the firmware update. And so that is the permanent fix, is reverting the firmware update. So how do you do that? You contact Tesla support through chat or calling and call, contacting their energy support. And what you're going to ask for is, let me speak to tier two. I need to file a, a ticket to roll back the firmware update to my power wall. And you can explain the reasons why. For some of you, it's impacting your peak time, like you're in, in, incurring demand charges as this is a, a power plan with our local utility that Tesla doesn't support. And in my case, it's just a safety issue. It's literally not having enough sufficient power as soon as possible, uh, unless I just keep it at 100%, in which I'll incur incredible charges during peak. And so for me, as soon as peak is over, please charge the power wall back as soon as possible in case of any unexpected outage. And we don't have to worry about this uh, problem when peak time comes. And I don't want to babysit this. This requires like four times a day coming in here, setting it, unsetting it, setting it again, and unsetting it. It's absolutely ridiculous when this went for years with absolutely no problems. I hope this helps. I'm charging this back up and this should complete maybe in 45 minutes to an hour and then I'll revert my setting back there and 
Uh, tier two right now, as of July 9th, is saying they take could take a week or two for them to get to this with the current backlog of tickets that they have. So Tesla, if you somehow miraculously see this or anyone on your team, uh, please consider making this an optional change in the UI um, or really just notify customers before changes happen in the future. Because a lot of people, it sounds like, have are no idea that this change happened. Um, they've been using the same settings for a long time and now are incurring um, dozens or hundreds of dollars extra per month. Um, without being notified. So hope this helps. Um, not the best news, but at least there's a temporary and permanent solution here and hopefully something even more long-term in, in the future.